In this video, I'd like to show you how to access the peer and instructor feedback for your papers. Once the feedback release date is passed, you should use the link in your course to access the draft space. Here's what that looks like in Module 4. You can click on this link. You can also go directly to your ebook and uh, find the link in your drafts folder. Either way, when you click on the link, it'll bring you to a screen that looks like this. Now once here you can see your paper, you can see your grade you got on the draft, and you can see your originality percentage. Remember that the draft's grade is based only on on-time submission, presence of a writer's memo, and reasonable formatting as, as an MLA paper. That means things like, is it double-spaced? Did you use a good font? Um, does it have a correctly formatted or cited page if you're using sources, as your second and third papers in the course will? Now to view your feedback, start by clicking on the paper link and that'll bring up the document viewer. From here to see your instructor feedback, you click on the grade mark tab at the top. This will show you the text um, comment that your instructor left for you. Um, you can scroll through the paper and see any places where um, the instructor left you particular comments about things. You can also click on this thing and see what pages um, comments were left on. In this case I've only got one on a couple, but I can scroll to them now and look at them if I want to. Um, you can also look at your rubric. And again, I didn't put a writer's memo on mine, so I didn't get full credit for this, but this explains to you what you lost points on. So you can look at that. You can also look at your originality report by clicking the originality tab up here at the top. Now the percentage shows up in all views of how much is similar, but that doesn't tell you much by itself. What you want to do is scroll through the paper and look at the highlighted material to see if you're using too much verbatim text, back to back maybe, or to see if you've given proper credit to that verbatim text. You can look here and see, do I have quotation marks around things? Have I given the name of the person that said this? And so you want to look at those things. Um, sometimes if you click on something, you're going to find that um, if it's a student paper, you won't be able to actually see what the matchup is. But if you click on the on this thing right here, it'll show you the match breakdown. And you can scroll through here. What it means is that somebody else used an internet source just like you did probably. So if you click on any of these internet sources, you can kind of see what the match is. And you can look on some of these and see kind of where what it looks like where you saw it maybe and then decide from there whether or not you've you given proper credit. Going back here now. Basically um, you need to know too that the search engine doesn't catch everything. Like if I scroll down a little bit here um, there's a couple of long quotes here. This one by Lad Tobin is not flagging even though because it's from a book. So it's something that maybe the internet search engine isn't catching. Um, but what this can do is the highlighting can give you some idea about inter inadvertent plagiarism from internet sources, um, can kind of flag some citation formatting errors um, if you haven't given credit to this thing that's been flagged. Um, and the other thing it can tell you is if you've got a lot of colors kind of back to back um, and it's all the way through your paper a lot, maybe what it's telling you is that you've used too much verbatim text and you need to go back and put more of your own ideas between these things. Um, maybe one of them is fine by itself, but if you've got a bunch, then you might really need to think about revising pretty extensively. Um, now finally, you can click on the peer mark tab here to see your classmates' feedback. In my case, because this was a dummy paper that I submitted well after the course was over, I don't have any comments for my paper. But if I did, I would be able to see on this first screen who my classmates are who reviewed my paper, and I could look at those individually. I can also click on this question mark thing down here, and it will show me all the questions kind of lined up side by side, so I can see all responses to say question one or question two or things like that. I can also look on this thing, just like on the instructor one, to see where in my paper people left me particular comments so I can scroll through and find them easily. Another thing I can do um, after the release date is passed is go back in here and look under peer mark reviews. And here I can see um, the review that I left myself and I can go back in here if I want to. This may also show up under your peer mark space um, if you do it during the flow of the course just like any other 
but I can look back at this if I need to and I can also look at read all papers if I click this it's going to show me everyone who submitted a paper and from here I can maybe if someone mentioned something on the discussion board and I'm curious and I want to read their paper I just click on the box here next to his or her name and I can see a sort of unformatted version of the paper it's not as easy to read perhaps as other things but it gives you an idea and it's really good to look at this sometimes after the fact just um, to give you more ideas about how to help your own papers if the ones you read and commented on didn't help you much with that as always if you're having problems please contact Cengage for help and good luck and thanks for watching